This is the Republic of Ireland. The European country is a nation with a distinct cultural heritage. Proud of its traditional sports, the Gaelic Athletics Association, or GAA, which is based at Dublin's Croke Park, has been charged with the preservation and cultivation of national pastimes since 1884. That remit covers Gaelic football, hurling, camogie, rounders and handball. This is Paul Brady. The 33-year-old is the reigning handball world champion. Transworld Sport travelled to Ireland to find out more about him. I played recreationally and in competitions for about five years that I was in second level school and uh, I went to university here in Dublin and um, I started to really take the game a lot more serious then and uh, started to train for, for, for hours on end, trying to improve uh, whatever talent I had. And um, then when I finished college, I went to the States for about a year, year and a half. I was over and back, and that kind of was another defining period of, of my career. There was a, a pro circuit there, and I started to play on it, and uh, thankfully I started to get some results, and really my career took off from there. On an enclosed court, which measures 40 feet by 20 feet, players strike the ball with their hands or fists against the far wall, so as to make the ball unreturnable for their opponent. Gaelic handball is similar to the Basque game of Pelota and the English sports of racquetball and fives. The basic strategy is uh, the lower you can hit the ball, uh, it becomes unreturnable. It's obviously the, high, the highest risk, risk shot as well, because you can hit the floor, or if you, if you hit it too, too high up, it's a kind of setup for your opponent. But they generally, uh, whoever controls the front court will invariably do well, uh, usually winning the match. So you use the roof, uh, you use uh, passing shots to get your opponent out of the middle of the court, and you try and dominate that, that position. Along with handball, Paul, who hails from Cavan, also plays Gaelic football for Mullahoran up in his home county. Gaelic football's physical nature means that Paul often comes away from matches with a number of knocks and bruises. Regular ice baths are part of his injury prevention regime. Some of the fitness aspects of the games uh, complement each other. I think also playing football is, you know, giving me physical strength on, on my legs that other handball players don't have. So, um, you know, obviously in terms of fitness and things like that, it, it has helped. Um, also, it's a good uh, distraction. You know, the, you know, one's a team sport and one's individual, so I can, you know, play football one day and it takes my mind off the, the stresses of the individual sport and handball. You know. Paul visits Dublin City University's High Performance Centre around four times a week for strength and conditioning training. With a strict training programme and professional approach, Brady has turned himself into the best player of his generation and one of the sport's all-time greats. Unlike many other top GAA sportsmen and women, Paul has gained recognition beyond the shores of his homeland. Chris Curran is the CEO of GAA Handball. Within Ireland, over the years, we have always had some great names associated with the game. Um, and players like that have had a very high profile within Ireland itself. But Paul Brady has added a new dimension to that. He became the first player ever to win a U United States Pro Stop in America. He went to America now with great regularity and is winning all their events, so much so that he has now got to the stage that he's the number one player in the world and has sustained that status for over nine years now. Point 14. Last March, the world number one claimed the All-Ireland title for the ninth time, his eighth in a row. Brady has also won the last three consecutive world championships, which are held every three years in Ireland, Canada and America. Paul 
won his first US Open championship in 2004, and only an injury last year saw him relinquish that title for the first time in seven years. And unfortunately for his opponents, there appears to be no letting up in the Cavern Man's quest to leave a lasting legacy. Good player wins one, and a very good player wins, you know, two of any title, and you know, obviously, you know, great players win multiple titles. So that was always my goal to be remember. You know, I used to go a long time ago. I wanted to reach a level that no one had ever reached before in, in the sport, and um, that continues. You know, it's an, it's an intangible goal. You know, what what defines greatness? But for me, it's just to win every tournament as it comes, and. Uh, when I go in on, you know, I suppose I take confidence from all them victories, but, but going into it, I, I forget all that. It's just about this tournament, you know, it, that's how I stay motivated. I don't think of the past. I just think of what it'd feel like to lose, and I don't want to experience that ever again. It's a, it's a very dark place for me, and I just don't want to go there. Okay, Oshin. Okay, Caitlin. Wait, me, me. Oh. Being an amateur sport, Paul has to earn his living away from the court. He's a teacher at Ballinar Primary School in County Cavan. Left hand, left hand. Come on, don't. There are not too many world champions around the globe who have to juggle a full-time job with their sport. Good sir. Well, you just have to manage your time a wee bit better. Um, I suppose as a primary school teacher, you know, you have a bit of flexibility in terms of, you know, when you prepare. You can do it straight after school or early in the morning or you can wait till later that night. So, um, you know, I suppose there's worse jobs to, to, you know, that would hinder kind of doing it. But look, it's just, it's just part of life. You just have to try and balance the two and that, that's just it. Paul is currently defending his World Championship crown in Dublin, and he'll travel to California next month to try and reclaim his US Open title. At 33, Paul Brady knows that his career is on the final stretch, and when he decides to call it a day, he plans to pass on his knowledge and skill to the next generation. I lost. I have to go in the queue now. <laughs> the fact that he is the one, number one player in the world, which is something our top players hadn't got in the past, Paul has become very much the figure that every young child in the country now aspires to. Uh, they want to play like Paul Brady, they want to be like Paul Brady, and the fact now that he's coming to defend his World Championship title on home soil again and become the first player in history to win four consecutive World Championships makes his achievements even more remarkable.